the EMDGs is basically about using the ICT to uh, achieve the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, I think, you know, after 10 years of the uh, uh, committing everybody, the, you know, the, the United Nations and all the uh, countries themselves to the uh, MDGs, uh, very little uh, has been achieved in that area. So the, the idea was why we don't use the technology uh, to foster and to, to uh, uh, help the countries to implement uh, the MDGs. So what we are trying to do here is to create uh, an enabler uh, to give a link to the uh, portals, to tools, uh, technologies, solutions in different countries uh, specific, uh, specifically related to the MDGs. Uh, for example, I give a few examples about uh, Bahrain, what we are doing in Bahrain, and education, for example. Uh, we are not uh, trying to achieve the uh, uh, primary education because it's already overachieved. We are, you know, even the secondary uh, is, is already there. But we are talking here about the quality of the uh, education. We have the King's uh, School for Future a program where it's a virtual uh, e-learning uh, system that links the students with the parents, with the, with the teachers, or the curriculum, uh, curriculum is there. So uh, the, the students, they can look into the curriculum, they can uh, uh, review. Uh, the parents they can see how their, their uh, children are doing into the education. So this system is taking a next level of the uh, MDG. But again, it's, it's very useful as a tool mm -hmm. to be used for other countries. You know, if we talk about the quality of the education, that means it's beyond the MDGs. Uh, this is one of the tools that we are offering uh, to help and uh, uh, tell uh, other countries about. There are uh, like the investor for the, for the investors uh, to make the uh, investment more transparent and uh, 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 simpler, let's say, the, the process of investing into the country. The uh, e-tendering. Uh, again, it talks about the transparency, about uh, you know, uh, being uh, uh, faster into the procurement process in the government, and, and so on. We have many tools, uh, successful uh, uh, tools and products that can go into this uh, enabler and uh, help other countries to, uh, uh, to use them and to uh, achieve the MDGs. So let's backtrack on, on helping other countries within this context. There are some uh, developing countries whose people really are still, um, don't have enough food to eat. So, for example, if I'm, if I'm hungry, I'm not thinking, oh, I want Internet access or I want to, you know, renew my driver's uh, license or what have you. I need to eat for survival. So my mentality isn't even ready or there yet. So how can... Um, pioneering countries like, you know, Bahrain, etc. How, how can these countries help less fortunate countries at least to really tap into those essential uh, Millennium Development Goals to be able to focus on education, you know, and the others? I'll give you an example about uh, Bahrain before going to the poor countries. Uh, I thought when we uh, announced our program that uh, as you mentioned, you know, people in the villages or less educated or elderly people are not going to be interested very much about the program. Uh, that was my perception. And, you know, we wanted to, we had, uh, of course, the marketing is very important. We market our program extensively throughout the year. I mean, every day there are, you know, outdoors and, and, and uh, marketing materials outside. So I was uh, wondering what is the impression of the citizens about the program? Uh, then we run a, a radio uh, program to receive the uh, opinions of the people about the program. And I was listening to that. It, it surprised me. An elder person, um, I think something 70 plus, he was talking very positively about the e-government program and about the services. And I was saying, okay, he might, you know, just... Uh, just for the sake of, uh, you know, uh, complementing the program. He's not uh, uh, very precise about what he's saying. Then he started explaining that he was with the government program since the beginning and it made his life simpler. He don't have to line up and uh, he has more time 
quality time? And I said, okay, maybe he heard it from somewhere. Then he said, I in fact know about the URL, the previous URL that's been changed in 2007. And he was mentioning detailed things that surprised me. And the same thing with the uh, clearance agents. I heard very positive uh, comments about them and people coming from, from the villages and from, uh, from these uh, areas. So it shows that the people, regardless of the education, if, if, uh, if you give them a quality uh, service, that's, in fact, you know, it's, it's money. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you will save their time, their money, they don't have to travel. Uh, less educated people, they don't know how to do their services. But if you uh, tell them, I mean, if, if it's very simple, on the mobile or on the portal, then they can, can do more with the less time. Uh, the other thing is about, I think, uh, if we educate people uh, about the technology uh, and give them the right, uh, the capacity, that means they can have a better income. So it will help them for the poverty and to eat, you know, it's, uh, it, it's beyond uh, the, the basics. The Kingdom of Bahrain was awarded three prestigious awards from the United Nations in uh, Barcelona, Spain. Tell us about some of the technological advancements in, in uh, allowing uh, the government, uh, the kingdom, to receive that. And, and what, are, what, what are some of the investments currently taking place uh, within and, of course, outside of Bahrain? Well, the awards, uh, it was uh, part of our objectives to receive two international awards. And fortunately, we received many uh, uh, local, regional and international awards in the past three years. Uh, the most prestigious and important one, of course, was the uh, advancement or improve into the era rep uh, report from, from uh, 42nd to 13th worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that was, you know, the, the biggest jump anybody did in the top 50 countries. Uh, so we rec received the, uh, an award there. The second award was in the, for the portal and the transparency category and accountability for the government, the first uh, place uh, award, and the third one in the enterprise architecture, uh, which, uh, you know, is the difficult piece in the government, integrating uh, ministries and having uh, standards, uh, national-wide uh, standards for the government. Uh, what was your second? Uh, and just uh, the investments, what are some of the yeah. investments taking place in the Kingdom of Bahrain? Uh, the investments, of course, the Economic Development uh, Board is focusing into that, and uh, we managed to get uh, many investors uh, to Bahrain and our aim uh, to become a business-friendly environment, so attracting uh, businesses. And this is why we are focusing, for example, about the e-investor uh, project that uh, we are trying to implement uh, to attract more and more investors uh, to Bahrain. Uh, uh, about the investments in particular into ICT, the government authority uh, tried to bring the uh, key investors into this area. And we managed to get uh, more than 10 uh, international companies to Bahrain in the past uh, two years, although it's not part of our uh, mandate, let's say. But it's important for me if I would like all the ministries to be ready for the government and be ready for the new technologies, I, I need to have the capacity in the island. I need to have the, uh, the, the uh, international companies uh, with the capacity, with the, uh, the, uh, the competencies to be available in the country. So it's very important to attract the investors, the best solutions into, into the market. So what we do in each and every area, uh, for example, contact center, or being into infrastructure, or networking, we attract the best international player to come to Bahrain, to partner, give us the solution, and to open an office uh, into the country. So in the future, when we need the support, we can uh, have it uh, close by. It creates a dynamic synergy. Yeah. I have one final question for you before we wrap up. What can we expect from the Kingdom of Bahrain in the upcoming Millennium Development Goals Summit here in New York City at the United Nations? Uh, we offer the, all kinds of help and support to the program. Uh, being um, resources, uh, we put a lot of resources and, and people to help uh, uh, offering our uh, tools and, and advancements into the technology to the program. We are going to create a model, a uh, country model uh, into the, the enabler uh, to fill the Bahrain information and uh, help other countries to, to use it. 
Uh, part of it, of course, the most important one was the uh, capacity building center uh, for the African countries and Arab uh, region countries. And uh, uh, we are trying now to help uh, the African countries uh, because I think they, they are the most needy uh, countries for the MDGs. Uh, we are going to work closely with the African Union uh, to establish that program and to help uh, the African countries. Wonderful. Mohammed, thank you so much for being here. I really, really look forward to seeing you again. And thank you for the um, enlightenment uh, on what's happening with e-government authority and what to expect uh, during the summit upcoming here in New York City. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We'll see you soon on South South News.